Alright guys, another month means another Patreon chosen series. Let's see what the results are. Wow. I think we've been doing this for almost a year now. This was a triumph. Can't say I saw this one coming. South Park, The Stick of Truth. A game by Obsidian, of all people, which gives it a bit more credit. Uh... I guess people are excited about the sequel. Okay, sure. I'm, I'm on board. I uh, actually like South Park quite a bit, and it's an Obsidian game, so I'm not going to be having a terrible time for sure. Let's get started. Deep in the lands of Zarad, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them. A noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick controls the universe. Holy shit. I was not expecting us to immediately be referencing the uh, Lord of the Rings cartoon that they the animation from a while ago with all the way down to like the awkward animation and the low frame rates and the weird like the stuff that looks like it was a person being painted over like the really specific way that all that was animated was such a weirdly specific callback I guess I can't say weirdly specific it's it's South Park so your options here you get a white person brown person browner person other brown person. I don't know, they're vaguely slightly different tints. And then we have the spray on New Jersey tan. Dear lord, that's perfect. So one of the nice things about this game is definitely the fact that they've already nailed the visual style of the uh, show they're based on, which... You'd think that'd be easy, because the whole premise of the show is that it's, it's a cheap to produce, very... like, thrown together style, more or less, but non-stop, like every version of South Park ever, has never looked like the show, which, it, to be fair, they often made the mistake of trying to make 3D games out of a 2D show, and that doesn't help at all. I mean, I've got to go with this, it's too weirdly perfect. As in, that's just what I look like, more or less, except I, I my head is not a, bas a basketball, as it turns out. Ah uh, yes, the illusion is complete. Also, I just tried to use the right stick to rotate the character. And I'm going to show myself out now. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. we We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for... him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but... Son, do you... remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good, that's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right, get outside and play, son. Like... like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark.
Yeah, we love you too. Whoa. That was. I mean, maybe they had that in Witcher 2, but that was just. That, that, that uh, immediately made, took me back to Witcher with having somebody shout at me, basically, whenever objectives happen and whenever quest progress happens. So you, you move around, it all, it all looks about right. Immediately, the game's acknowledging the fact that I'm a silent protagonist by being really sarcastic and annoyed about it because. Instead of just accepting the fact that my character doesn't talk, they're actually annoyed, and... I'm just being a dick, apparently. Great. Can I look around at all? Nope. Maybe the toys? Yeah. It's my storage chest. Alright. Pretty much what do you expect of that, really? What do we have here? So, also, immediately everyone sounds like every other South Park character because this show is, uh, voice acted by, like, three people. The two people that write the entire show, and some girl they bring in, I think. <laughs> this is about pretty much the extent of most of the voice acting. So we just moved in, and immediately we have a dark and mysterious past. But I don't remember what it is, because that's how you do RPG storylines. And I'm just immediately walking around my house like a lunatic, and ra just ripping everything out of every little drawer. Apparently not closing anything either. Yep, you're watching me do this now. Aren't you glad you clicked on this video? Look! I got it! Now it's in my inventory. <laughs> it's all mine now. I'm gonna stay in here and be sad. Can I- can I- Wait, what are you, some sort of barbarian? Close the door. Fine. I'm just gonna sit here and wallow in my sorrow. My mute, mute, dark, mysterious past sorrow. I am not any wetter than I was before. Can I turn it off, or is it just gonna stay? Or am I just gonna leave it on? Looks like you can see where the doors are, because there's a little impression in the floor, and also there's a weird ghost hand pointing at it, like the Simpsons. Let's see how long we can go with this mute premise. Are they in the backyard or the kitchen? I'm gonna go bother my parents by not actually talking to them. Can I go in the fridge? Nope. Hello? Nope. Don't mind me. Just taking your forks. <laughs> gonna be the richest nine-year-old. I've got like five dollars already. What do you got? What do you, what do you get at your job? You don't make money this fast. Go on outside, sweetie. Go look around the neighborhood. Go on outside. Go look around the neighborhood. Oh, mine? Oh, two dollars. Thank you. I can almost buy gum in the year 2020 when gum costs a hundred dollars. Oh, it wasn't God. a request, it was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. I feel like I'm under attack. Oh, right. We're supposed to play outside. Because South Park only acknowledges video games when it needs to, otherwise everyone just plays outside so story can happen. And people can have childhoods or something. <laughs> I don't understand the concept to be honest. Uh, the new kid in town. You and your parents just moved to South Park. They want you to go out and start making friends. Go outside and find some friends. And we actually get a layout of the town. Look at this. South Park Mall. You can see the little people's houses. Clyde's house. Jimmy's house. Craig's house. So on and so forth. They look the same. If there's, any, if there's anything that I haven't memorized, it's what the hell people's houses look like in South Park. Oh wait, no, Jim... Kenny's house is a dump. There it is. So that's probably Kyle and Stan and Cartman. Yep. All in a row. Directly to my right. Guess who I'll probably meet first, huh? Oh yeah, Butters is right there too? Isn't that convenient the entire main cast is located next to each other? Ooh. Creepy little stash bag. No. I need a shovel. I need a snow shovel. No one could ever get over that tiny, tiny pile. Let's see, is there- oh, there is a run button. Alright, can I open this garage? Sure can. Alright, I'm just gonna go hide in here now. Don't mind me. They can't make me make friends if I don't want to. I can live up here from now on. And just, just... <laughs> get used to the concept of no one ever coming to me. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Die, snowman. You shall die by my warhammer, Drow Elf! Uh-uh! I banish thee to the forest realm! That way, I banish you first! Haha! <laughs> you can't hold out much longer! Help! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer! Help! 
I know, just the trick. Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. My name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. You have a friend. You just made your first friend in South Park. Message from your friends will show up here on the home page. To seal your fr the friends you made, le left trigger or right trigger for collectibles. It's Facebook. We're on Facebook now. I've made a terrible mistake. All right. So, I am age nine, male, zero experience, which is a weird thing to show on your online social networking thing is your net worth and how much experience you have. But you know what? It's, it's just, it's RPG Fantasy World LinkedIn Facebook. It's fine. Got my inventory over here. Don't think I have much to equip yet. Just the basics. Butters, you know, the collectible. Good old collectible friends. Hey everybody, there's this new kid playing with us. And me and him are friends. That way nobody picks on him. That's... That's not how any of this works, Butters. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Just a moment, there's a Chin Pokemon and I need it. Come here. Get down here, Raicharizard. Raichuizard? What are you? You nightmare hybrid of two things. That went the wrong way when I hit it. <laughs> hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? Did I Colorado? What? Oh, hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. That is a boob chicken. Covered in boobs. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Just stealing stuff from your house, don't worry. And turning off the TV. You're not paying attention anyway. You're just like my parents. Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. Oh. Feels like part of the game. Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. Come here. You don't tell me what to do. I'm the protagonist. You understand the power that I hold. I can ult a four right out of this. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. That's gonna be an ongoing thing, I think. So, teach me about your power of diabetes. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. That's... Oh no. I've been infected with friendship. The Rock of Insanity? Be careful, the Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. I'll show you, Rock. I, this actually might be the whole definition of insanity thing people say, where you expect different results from the same thing over and over again. Literally punching a rock. How about you, huh? Ah, yes, the pool of vision. Beautiful, isn't it? The only way I know how to interact is through violence. And picking flowers. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Koopa Keep. Behold the distant realm of downtown, home of corrupt merchant lords and homeless people. <laughs> I can see, uh, where is Shitty Walk? It would it'd probably be next to the giant tower. Because they would never be able to afford a building like that. And no, it's not lost on me that this place is called Koopa Keep. As yet another hey, where the hell are you reference going? on the list. You can't tell me where to go. I'm gonna go over here. Next to the stump of wizardry. The wizard stump. Perhaps one day I will show you what it does. No, I want I'll show you what it does. Ah, you have located the training area where our massive army learns to fight. Your massive army of Clyde and Butters. And Butters. What are you doing? You look sad. Is it because Carbon's never fun or funny? 
and you have to deal with his bullshit all day. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told me to stick to the script. That's the line that sorry, but the He's Grand not gonna Wizard say anything else. To He's sticking to the script like an RPG character that would basically just repeat one line over and over again. The power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse. But mostly a curse. The Grand Wizard would hold snacks if we talk off script. Stick to your lines! No talking, Scott! As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. Wow, I actually understood Kenny for once. He said flowers for me, ha ha ha, or tee hee hee, you shouldn't have. I've never understood a line he said before, I don't think. Maybe not. So, this is just another way for uh, Carbon to exert dominance over a bunch of people and tell them what to do all day. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. There are like so many options. A mage is like a fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. What does it do? A white thief? A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. I just want to know what it, what the hell a Jew does in this game. That's got to be the most amu immediately amusing class, right? The options, there's so many options. What does it do? Jew, huh? so I guess we'll never really be friends. What does it do? Let's find out. Welcome to the KKK douchebag to Jew, who probably can also handle our finances. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Oh my god. This is what I'm dressed as now. Okay. Just gonna have to live with this. I'm gonna punch the crap out of this. Oh wait, you said, did you say weapon shop or the training course? I think you said the weapon shop. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Don't waste your money on tips and rumors. <laughs> I mean, he got me, I guess. Jewish staff. Guide and defend the faithful with this woolen shepherd's Don't crook. let it bother you that there's a game to be played. Ah, a lovely purchase. He took my money. KKK equipment. Oh, man. That's problematic. But of course, it's it's, a, it's the Koopa clan keep for... Yeah. Whoops. Mistakes were made there. <laughs> but no one's going to tell them because they don't want to have the talk. A ranged weapon. I got a rusty pipe. That's exciting, I guess. Evil carbon goatee. If you just really want to dress up. Maybe not right now. <laughs> a magic Jew with, uh, with eye black. Because why not? Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. I love the concept that the basics of turn-based RPG combat are being contextualized as historical accuracy, somehow. Also, Clyde, Clyde, you're going off script. You said you're gonna kick my ass. I'm supposed to kick your ass. Were you not paying attention? Pay attention, Clyde. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. All right. Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood! Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. 
The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Ugh. No, no, I said protect. Protect your bows. I was waiting for a flash. I guess I missed it. Oh, it's under my it's uh, it's under my feet. Okay, I was looking in the complete wrong spot. I thought it'd be on his weapon. This is unblockable. All right, you know what? Never mind about blocking. It's not that important. Just let them hit you. It's fine. <laughs> All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your Jew ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Sling of David. Cast the first stone at any enemy. Deals more damage if done perfectly, but can lead to self-injury if done improperly. Okay, we'll get ready for that happening, I guess. Spin, and then fi- oh no. I'm gonna mess this one up. Alright. You just gotta believe. Ah! Oh, that Wait, was- that, that was strong. Stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him! What? I was going easy. Take this! Critical hit. I did it! Wasn't ready for combo. <laughs> this will take a little practice. But I can do this, so screw it. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, beam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Um, this sounds like a bad touch. I need an adult. Can someone come in with me? I don't want to be alone with Cartman. He's, he, I don't want to see his relic. Ah. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long! for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! That is an orc with the boner. That's normal. Oh, it's a sex doll. Douchebag, it's an inflatable sex doll that has been painted over. That's awkward. Can I just take the stick of truth and hide it? No one will ever see it coming. Ah, the throne is mine. No. Oh, jeez. Don't, <laughs> Don't steal all my shit in there. He knows. He knows what I'm up to. We're up to four friends. Can I put points into anything? Because I was leveling up. I don't know if that actually does anything here. Let's see. Lucky if you think I'm the fairest maid in all the land. Seriously, Princess Kenny, you don't have to keep posting this. I think that's about all as, all that happens as far as pod, pause menu stuff goes. Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Ugh. Joke's on him, he just has to wait for the Pirates DLC where I have to play as a pirate elf Jew. No one will ever see it coming. Are they attacking first? Do it, douchebag! Kick these elves' asses! Who goes first? Oh, he's blocking. Got him! You're wounded, douchebag! Potions will heal you, here! I was trying. He's throwing chips at me. <laughs> no, I wanna... No! I wanna use my abilities. I, I, I'm not hurt enough to use potions yet. You're wasting my turn. Let's go, asshole! The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was compromised. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Nah, I probably won't. Well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. Yay! It's important to know what your future can, can be like. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. 
When do I get a turn? Jeez. Hello. Let's take care of you first. Come on. Ooh, that was fast. PP is no joke. I apparently got multiple consecutive turns. I don't know how the turn order works yet. That was that was effective. I'm out of it now, though. Oh, it came back. Cool. Cool, and we got a power potion. And I can loot their corpses. They're tiny, baby, rotting corpses. Wait, why isn't Butters helping me? Butters! Why aren't you in this fight? Oh, getting ready to repost. I think that just means don't attack him with melee. Everyone's just standing there, that's how this combat works. Stop controlling me! Why are you doing that to me? Alright, fine. They're gonna teach me about reposting, I'm sure. Alright. Ow. Aw <laughs> oh, man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. Enemies in the repost stance can counter melee attacks, use arrows or abilities to do against them. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Do I have arrows? Oh, I do. The bow's Sweet, sucking. Now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Ah, yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. Take this. Uh. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Yep. Enemies in the reflex stance can counterattack ranged attacks. I know what to do. Unless this counts as a ranged attack too, we'll see. It does not. <laughs> it, can it counts as pain. Give it all to me. Oh, was there another one? I thought there was another one. Oh yeah, there's a guy over here attacking a cat, I guess. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> He's got a helmet. Let's do this, douchebag. They're armored. I'm not prepared for this. Reposted and shielded. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Shields completely block a number of hits. Use uh, normal attacks or abilities that deal lots of hits against them. That's a, this actually surprisingly involves uh, combat that has a lot of mechanics to deal with. So I just want to hit him over and over again with weak attacks because I'll get more attacks in. Bitch, please. Uh, hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Armor reduces damage of each hit. Use power attacks or abilities to deal a single large hit against armor. So many details. Oh, that's it. Now finish him. Up oh, here it comes. I missed my chance. It was tragic. Uh, Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No, you can't do that. Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, if you can make me a douchebag, like you sure can fight! Shut up, Scott, nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen. And we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware, the lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go, and send my warriors here. Butters, go with him. I got a party member. Hey. <laughs> Come back, come back, come back, come here. 